guys my name is rage and i am back today with another video for you all in today's video you guys i want to show you my play and walkthrough of how i was able to unlock uh, herald 7-4 which is following the black widow node here with a 177k power team so uh for these nodes you guys 7-4 to 7-6 it does require you to have uh global heroes um in this case i am going to just jump right into my roster to show you guys who i utilize so first and foremost you guys um it's gonna be very key to have Sherry here just because uh, going through, especially if you have a lower power team like myself, you're gonna need someone that provides sustainability as well as uh, energy up. So I do have Sherry here at 35K tier 10 and she's going to be mainly utilized to apply defense up at the start of turns as well as providing sustainability but you know the nice thing about sherry is that her special also allows the, the ability generation uh, in terms of energy being supplemented to everyone so that's what i'm using for, for my first character next you guys to further complement sherry i am going to use scarlet witch i have her at 38k tier 11 uh, no T4s on her, and she's just going to really assist Shuri in terms of being able to provide protection to our team. Deflex, uh, Scarlet Witch, you know, her ultimate's actually really good too. If there's negative conditions all around, uh, she can actually extend those um, those negative effects prolonged by one duration. So really good, especially if you're casting conditions around. Next, you guys, I am going to utilize Hulk as our main tank. I have him at 36k, tier 10. Uh, no T4s on his abilities, and he's mainly going to be utilized as part of defense, really soaking up damage for our team. You know, as you guys can see here, uh, most players are going to have him with a high yellow star. So really good just to take advantage of, especially with the rework of the Avengers. This is really going to be favorable for us. Uh, next, you guys, I do have Captain America at 35k. Tier 11, um, no T4s on his abilities, but you know the captain here is going to be uh, joining forces with Cap uh, with Shuri here, just to be able to not only protect our team, but as well as generating ability energy for a team. And we're really just going to generate that, and he's going to form a backup as well to just help um, help protect uh, Hulk when he needs to do so, and as well having two taunts will protect our squishy healers. And last but not least, you guys, with those four being our main core in terms of sustainability and taunting, that leaves the fifth being Hawkeye. For Hawkeye, I do have him at only at 31k, still trying to level him up with uh, building materials here. But as you guys can see, no T4s here. I do have him at 4 red star. He's going to be mainly utilized, you guys, for his ultimate ability here because he can provide that support by attacking damage as well as being able to apply as both a, a slow as well as a blind. And this is really just going to improve our survivability going through these nodes. Uh, I've definitely seen some videos where people have utilized rosters that uh, basically they're you know they they consist of 250k to 300k plus teams so i'm just trying to see if i can do this with uh mitigating some resources here you guys so let's dive right in this is my roster placement right here i do have captain america and as well as hulk on the right side just to be able to soak away damage away from our squishier heroes i do have shuri in the back here as i do want her lasting the longest out of everyone she's going to be the most um I, honestly she's the mvp of this team she provides energy generation defense up and if you can keep soaking her up with energy with captain america it's going to be continual continual uh support and sustainability especially with her heals so this is my roster so let's dive right in you guys let's see how we do in this run And keep in mind as well, you guys, there's always going to be an RNG factor as well. I was able to get it through the two stars, but uh, you just honestly never know with these nodes, um, especially with these guys being higher targets. So let's start off here. Uh, first and foremost, you guys, you see we are going to be messing around here with a mix of the uh, the Supernatural group as well as some tree minions. So, um, you know, right away, you guys, I know I got to take out Scarlet Witch and Ghost Rider as well as Elsa just because of the damage. So I'm going to go ahead and utilize... Uh, you know my hawkeye stun there just to be able to or excuse me my blind and bleed just to be able to help mitigate some damage but the, the key here you guys is really synergizing both captain america as well as uh, uh shuri just to generate energy for our team uh, meanwhile scarlet witch is going to keep healing the beauty is we do have american chavez here and she can do a load of damage so we're going to definitely utilize her as best as we can so taking a look at this roster you guys first and foremost the targets I want to take down is the high DPS targets, so I am going to use uh, Hawkeye to slow down uh, you know, Ghost Rider there just because he can do a boatload of damage. Uh, same with Elsa, those two are the two to watch for here just because of their damage output. But the key here, you guys, will really be utilizing the tanks to really soak away damage. 
from our um, from our squishier heroes while they provide sustainability. So here I am just going ahead and attacking Ghost Rider with my damage. Um, using this team, you guys, I do like it because Shuri's constantly able to heal as well as provide defense up. Um, only issue is, as you guys can see right there, my Amer Captain America already went down. So uh, he's super squishy, but he was just there to basically soak damage up. So not the start I want to show you guys, but let's see how we do even with Captain America down. I want to show you the sustainability power from this team. So I'm, I'm not going to drop out of this round just yet, just because I, I did um, do this before as well. So let's see how we do here. Uh, like I said, American Chavez does a lot of damage. We're going to go ahead and keep healing with Scarlet Witch. Um, beautiful thing is um, if you keep the energy generation up with Shuri, you know, Hulk should be able to maintain his taunt. The beautiful thing about Hulk's taunt is yeah, he actually clears the negative conditions off of him and he has death proof. And it's, when he drops below that 50% health, he can do quite a bit of damage. So as you can see now, both Ghost Rider and Elsa are down. So we're going to go ahead now. Um, and then we're going to constantly always, when you have Hawkeye, you guys, constantly use his ultimate just to be able to apply that blind and as well as that bleed to ma maximize the fact that our team won't get hit by these guys, right? So... Um, the next target is going to be Scarlet Witch, but what I'm actually doing right now, you guys, is similar to my earlier videos of uh, where I've uh, made a walkthrough of Hela. What I always like to do before the next wave drops is I always like to weaken all the, 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 the current minions right now, the characters, before the next wave drops. So that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Although um, these guys don't really pose a threat, so I'm biding my time, uh, working up my energy, and really slowly allocating my damage here. Um, and as you can see, um, one of these guys are going to drop, and that should actually drop the next wave. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. Uh, but meanwhile, you know, we're going to build up our energy. We're going to keep using Shuri to heal, um, build up our abilities. We're ready for the next wave. And it looks like it's going to be coming out right up uh, pretty soon here with these four being really weak. Uh, Scarlet Witch, once again, you guys, I have her because of the heal. Just to reallocate that health across these different characters. Taking out Scarlet Witch now, this should prompt the next uh, wave. And that's going to be another Scarlet Witch as well as Mordo. So in this case now, now that the new wave has dropped, I am going to go ahead and finish off these weaker targets. Just because they are in our way and we don't want them attacking us. So once again, you guys, Hawkeye is the key here. Really having that blind really helps um, prevent another attack on us. Additionally, he does some great damage with his bleed. And, and especially the having the special to be able to apply a slowdown. So, you know, Mordo is the only issue here just due to the fact that he does have a ultimate ability that can apply heal block and that's not good for us for, for, for Shuri, but fortunately, uh, Scarlet Witch is nice in the sense that her, her special to heal actually bypasses the heal block, so that, that is another advantage of having Scarlet Witch. As you guys can see here, I'm going to go ahead and finish off Scarlet Witch here, leaving 7 out of 13 enemies left. Uh, beautiful thing about this wave is we are able to go ahead and actually take down all of these characters before the next wave drops. So no pressure here. You know, you just bide your time. Uh, I'm going to constantly keep using Shuri to heal and, and, and uh, as well as the generate energy for us. Last but not least, when we finish off Mortal, this is the last five characters of this wave. So we, we still have four characters, guys. We're still looking not too bad. So that's why that's why I didn't overreact when my like, Captain America dropped. But as you guys can see here, with this next wave, there are two Elsas, and those two will definitely be the targets we have to take down right away, just due to Elsa's high damage output. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. One of them is already almost down, and like I said, you guys, uh, honestly, the only job Hulk has in this in these waves is really just soaking damage up. If he can taunt, just make sure he's taunting, because the, the more damage that goes on him, the better for our squishier characters. Uh, Hawkeye's mainly, uh, main, main job is just to apply that blind, apply that bleed, really protect our team. At the end of the day, it's really a grind, but we're trying to out heal more than the damage, and that's what we're doing here with the combination of both Shuri as well as Scarlet Witch. So as you guys can see here, uh, unfortunately this guard does taunt. So once we get through his taunt, which is now, uh, we're going to go ahead and keep using Shuri to apply that uh, uh, defense up as well as energy. With one Elsa down, I am going to target the other one now. And uh, we'll go ahead and do that as well. It is quite a process just because of the fact that... Oh darn, okay. So as you guys can see there, unfortunately now, now my Hawkeye's down. So now it's looking a little grim. But, you know, fortunately, we still have American Chavez here, and she can do quite a bit of damage. So she is still our main DPS damage dealer. So, uh, so as long as we still have these yeah, three characters up, you guys, I think we should still be able to one-star it. And honestly, with this low of a combat power team, um, that's really all the jo job here is. Like, my my goal is not to uh, three-star this. Uh, I really just want to progress so I can go ahead with 7-5 and 7-6. So you bet I'm going to make more videos on this. Um, now that second Elsa down, only three of these three guys are remaining so 
Uh, another thing to note, you guys, too, um, always try to save Ch Chavez's uh, ultimate if you can, just because she does have the ability to actually cleanse um, cleanse positive effects, too. So, you know, say, for instance, the guard has taunt up. With Chavez's uh, ultimate, you know, she can take away that taunt. So that's another um, important thing to note, too, as you guys are going through here. Additionally, whenever Ronan does summon his minions, I do like to take him out, just because... Um, you can usually just one shot them and uh, honestly the extra damage uh, definitely helps us just taking them out of the way really helps us focus in on these guys so with both the else's down now you guys you see i am going to focus on oracle just because oracle has sustainability so that's what i'm doing right now and as you can see right there i use i utilize chavez's ultimate just to take off that taunt and then we're going to keep going ahead now and attack uh, oracle and likely after oracle I'm probably going to go ahead and take down uh, Ronan, but let's just see how this battle progresses first. I'm going to go ahead and finish off um, Oracle here. And like I said, you guys, our heal is outlasting their damage, and that's the reason we can stay in this battle. Or, yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead. You know, I, I do believe Guard is has less health than Ronan, and, and right now we're looking like we're in good shape. So we're and he has lower health. Let's go ahead and finish off Guard first. Oh, actually, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and finish off Guard first. Um, he just because he is like one a few hits away and then after that we'll take down uh, the minions that he just summoned Perfect there we go And then like I get like I said if you guys use the basics on on um, the summon minions They should be able to go down with a, a strike or two. So uh, Again you guys um the really the key here is really just being able to maintain ensure Chavez is alive uh, both Shuri and Scarlet provide sustainability and Hulk is doing Hulk things. He is just soaking up damage for us, doing wondrous there. So, a couple more hits here, you guys, and that is gonna get you the the uh, the, the one star right there. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to show you guys the two star, but that's quite all right because I wanted to show you how I did it with this roster and combat power. So, there you guys have it. Um, you don't need a monstrous roster here. I uh, the total was 177k, you guys. So that's why I utilized to get through this, and I am gonna go ahead and make a video on 7.5. And once I get through, it's 7-6. So as always, you guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.